Uh, here is a very special pyramid of numbers, what I call a number curiosity. It's a curiosity that has repeating digits and repeating digits are called rep digits, R-E-P. So I just want you to watch how as I um, cube all the numbers, it's a cubic number pyramid. So I'm going to take the number 153. One, five, three. And I'm going to show you that when we take the individual digits of 153, um, we're going to cube every digit. So one cubed gives the one. And then in pink, I'm going to do all the numbers with five. Five cubed is 125. One plus 125. And in yellow, I'll do um, three cubed is 27 so if you were to add if you were to add one one plus 125 plus 27 you you'll get the number 153 so it's interesting that its own digits when they're cubed gives that number and it's also for those who've studied bible mathematics 153 fishes is a very symbolic um parable in the christian bible so i'm going to continue this to show you what happens because it, the array of symmetry keeps extending so I'm going to take the one, but this time is six. So 16 cubed um, plus, so 16 cubed is going to give this 16 over here. And then I'm going to do 50 cubed is going to give the 50 over here. And then in yellow, we've got plus. 33 cubed. Everything's cubed in this. It's quite interesting, this one. And here it ends in the 33 as well. I mean, what's the chances that when we cube 16 and we cube 50 and we add the cube of 33, it gives 165,033. So I want you to start watching the colour coding as the, the symmetry pervades. So we're going to start again. We're going to, we're going to now, we're going to keep to the ones and sixes here. So 166 cubed is going to give this part of the answer here. You can see that we're, we're in the millions here. 166 million something plus 500 cubed. Plus, which gives the 500 over here. It's quite amazing how this happens. I mean... And in yellow, we're going to watch how the threes extend. We're going to take triple three. And we're going to cube that number, whatever it is. And it's still, the number still ends in a three. That's quite remarkable. And just to confirm that this keeps going as far as we know. Obviously, I haven't done this on a computer further and further. So up to this point here, we take one... 1,666, and we cube that, we still get the 166 over here. Isn't that amazing? Are we in the millions or billions now? So let's see, that's um, thousands. That's million, uh, millions. So we're in the billions. So the answer is going to be 166 billion something. And it somehow genetically, in the cubing, gets pulled, carried into the future final answer and then we're going to add instead of 500 we've gone 550 500 now we're adding 5000 cubed we'll cube that and and see how we get the 5000 over here and the final bit we've gone from the 3 to the 33 cubed 333 cubed so you can predict that when we cube 3,333, we cube that, we of course get a tailing, a trailing or tailing of 3333 three, three at the end. Yeah, so um, I think that's quite a remarkable curiosity and for some reason it reminds us that perhaps in all this apparent randomness and chaos that we see in the world, we often think there's just meaninglessness. And what mathematics does, it 
shows us it shows us that indeed there is hidden or what we call internal or inherent symmetry.